Uh, good morning, Vietnam. Uh, some time ago, I made a video for the woman. I said there is no man on flat earth. And this one, I do it for for the men. Specifically, I'm talking to the to the men. Okay. Uh, yeah. So the woman, you can go to your kitchen or somewhere. Okay. Okay. I'm just laughing. You know my shitty sense of humor. Yeah. So this, I'm um, specifically talking to the guys. Uh, man, the man uh, who feels a little bit uh, alone in this world. Uh, there is something I understood. I have the memory of some past lives where uh, there was a strong warriors next to me. Uh, people were uh, powerful, strong, you know, going to the limit when it is needed to protect. Uh, protect the, the tribe uh, protect the the women the children and everything you know and uh, and go uh, to the limit of what they can do you know so I have the I have the memory of it and uh, uh, I asked myself is this incarnation somehow a lesson for us to learn to feel this loneliness feel to feel to be alone uh, in this world of sub subhumans, wimps, you know, uh, that can uh, take no action. They cannot take action. When I say action, it's not physical action. It's uh, uh, with your talking, with your the truth you say. You don't submit. When you see something, you see something wrong. You say you say it. I did it when I saw them uh, making the children run with the masks. I, I was not speaking the language of this Vietnam, but I didn't keep it for myself. I stood, so it was not. Uh, it's not only a physical action like defending the tribe and everything, but it's the moral uh, steadiness, the power, okay, to stand your ground and everything. So I'm talking to this man, a man who have this, and uh, maybe we are in a situation, this incarnation, to to experiment the loneliness. Uh, the not having it, not having somebody on on your side, some somebody uh, protecting your back when you go into the field, you know, into the field of war, you know, you know. Uh, this is uh, this is maybe the the lesson of it. I I kind of feel it because I have such in me memory of this uh, this uh, structure, this group structure, and maybe in our. Uh, next level of being we have to uh, learn to be uh, alone alone and powerful okay okay next level divine being is away from uh, the group he doesn't really need the group for for being uh, fully powerful fully indestructible fully unlimited so maybe it is the goal for this uh, times okay so to for you to find a positive way for it and uh, yeah and uh, transmutate transmutate the experience okay yeah so uh, I also noticed uh, that uh, uh, the, the system uh, I was born in kind of suppressed me educated me to be suppressed you know to suppress the, the man in you Okay, the, the capability to act, the capability to go against the, the 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 wrong, the bad things of this system. So since uh, you are born with this uh, crappy humanity, subhumans, they slowly, since you are children, they will suppress your capability of action. Okay, like I said, it is uh, uh, the moral action in your what you speak and everything, and it's also the physical action. Some people. Uh, some people are more into physical action and some people they just they are strong beings you know they, 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 they with the, with their standing you know like a political standing or something against a right of of children or defending the right of children and everything and the, with their speak with their action on the field you know so it's not uh, but i will i will in this one i will talk about the physical action the violence, the necessity when there is necessity of of physical violence. So, 
I really uh, wanted to study the, what uh, what happens, how how a system which is totally cruel, cruelty, violence against children, uh, how uh, the those demonic entities, those wimps, can do violent stuff against children, against animals, against everything, and the real men are suppressed from action. Okay, uh, so it is already. Uh, some years now me studying studying this internally uh, feeling what what's happening what, what how I have been uh, engineered okay so uh, being exposed to cruelty and everything and also uh, at the same time suppressing you you know so 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 they do uh, their wickedness but at the same at the same time they suppress the, the man. Okay, they suppress the man to protect themselves, those creeps, those uh, dirty societies, dirty human societies. Uh, this is how they operate. Okay, the, 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 the man energy is the most uh, suppressed one, the, the male one. Okay, because it's the one that can um, destroy. Okay, it's, uh, it's, um, it's the sword. You know, it's, uh, it's the fire. Okay, so this is uh, where they hit. Okay, it's... Uh, it's uh, you understand why I did? There is no man on a flat earth addressed to the, 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 the woman uh, because it's exactly that. They, they, they destroyed, uh, they submissed all the, all the men. Okay, yeah, so the, the question was, uh, was about violence. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, I was asking how much this is suppressed in me. So, so, so I was... I put myself in some situation, you know, uh, in my head, just, am I able to uh, go into action if this or that happen? You know, just uh, playing in my head, you cannot do it in practical way, uh, but uh, what if, okay? What if, what if I am in this situation, okay? Uh, yeah, on, on the link here, like you see uh, pictures of uh, children being snuff movied. Okay, snuff move it for real. It is not the Epstein Island. It's not. Uh, uh, it's not. Uh, it's not a cinema in Hollywood. It's the reality of those uh, creeps, of those uh, uh, demonic possessed demons, demons in human form. What they do to children? Okay, what they do to their own uh, children? Okay, and what if I am in a situation where this. Uh, this uh, snuff movie is happening in front of my eyes. Okay, like uh, you see in the picture, there there must be somebody practicing the snuff movie and somebody just uh, holding the, the child, okay? So it would be two person. Uh, I imagine two men, okay, and women. So, so of course, there are some, uh, they take part of this uh, snuff movies. It is uh, it is the universal practice in, uh, in millions every year. So imagine I am there in, in the room. I... I found myself there. I opened and I found the snuff movie in front of my eyes, you know. And uh, l let's say I have a gun in my hand. Okay. What I will do? You know, I, I put myself in this uh, um, in this situation just to see how I am su suppressed. Okay. So myself, uh, automatically I will, if there is no consequences of me going to prison or something, I will shoot the, the demons that are doing this to the kid automatically in the head. I will just shoot. You know, it's it's the. You cannot resist. You know, there was this movie I watched <laughs> some some days ago. It's called the Django Django Unchained. It's a, a Tarantino. And at a certain moment, this uh, Christopher Waltz, Christopher Waltz, the this uh, brilliant actor, he has a uh, DiCaprio in front of him, and he couldn't resist. He just shoot DiCaprio. Okay, it was too, he couldn't. It just reached level, some level where he couldn't resist, just uh, uh, killing the guy. Okay, so it was it would be the same if there is not the, the the fear, of course, of going to prison and everything. So this is okay once you recognize that uh, there is only the fear stopping you. Is okay. The, the, there will be a problem if me. I will think. I oh, know it's uh, you know. I will compromise with myself or something. No, I don't compromise with the. Uh, demons, you know, perverts, perverts, uh, sodomite, uh, Abrahamic, uh, pedophile, snuff moving uh, children. Okay, there is no 
So I put myself in this kind of uh, situation to know w w what what I will do. You know, I I also one day like back in the days 2010 or something, I was with my friend. You know, my friend is a, a family guy. He has children. Even uh, 2010, he had he had uh, a daughter. The daughter was sick. You know, asthma and stuff, allergy, and uh, and we had the chemtrail attack. You know, a really a deep attack. You know, it was in some. In another, you know, in another place, and uh, the the sky was really heavy red. So everybody who has uh, a problem of uh, asthma and allergy just suffers. So the child was suffering, and here I am talking with my uh, my friend, my friend which I know since we were kids, and I saw my friend crying, crying because um, he cannot do anything. You know, the, the sky is full of chemtrails. The uh, the daughter, the, his child is uh, is suffering, and so I saw desperation in him. You know. I saw him crying, first time. Yeah, and I asked myself, uh, yeah, I, I remember this scene also, and I see, uh, and I think to myself, okay, if I am in a bar, and I find one of those pilots, for example, that can throw uh, uh, toxic chemicals on uh, civil population, like on the children, on the, on the kids of my friend. Okay, I, uh, in this case, it's a, it is about premeditated, premeditated, like when you prepare, it's not a violence in, in, in the, that you correct in the time it happens. You know, like, like, like the guy is having a drink and me, he told me I am a pilot, he told me I'm a pilot, I spray uh, poison on people, you know, and, um, and people I know, like the, the children of my friend, for example, and what will I do? You know, like uh, like he, the guy doesn't know and uh, doesn't know me. And if I, okay, we go outside and I have, like, let's say I have a knife, you know, what will I do? Okay, so I ask myself how much I am uh, suppressed. Uh, suppressed in this uh, realm of uh, violence. And I worked, I worked on it. Okay, I worked on it using uh, scenarios, using stuff to know uh, who, who is the real me. Okay, what... Uh, what really uh, uh, they put in my head, and what uh, what is my true nature? Okay. Yeah, in the case of this uh, chemtrail uh, poison or stuff, I would just uh, uh, I'm not into bloody shit and everything. But uh, with the work, I, I I just will I will slice this guy. Okay, just uh, I just to see. Okay. Um, yeah. So I I. And I and did some programs. I, I'm not a violent guy, guys. I never, I never had to or something in my life. Even when I was, um, you know, combat sport and everything, karate and everything. It's not my cup of tea. I never threw a true, uh, real punch on somebody or, you know, or used the gun on uh, something alive. Though, though I, I had, since kid, uh, I think I was 10 years old when. I get offered my first semi-automatic rifles, okay, so I was not able to carry it, uh, and still I was a good sh shooter, you know, at, at 10, you know, at 10 I dismantled the shit and repaired something which was, was a defect from the factory, you know, so I, I, I know the shit, but there is no violence in me, so I was asking myself all these years, what if, you know, I'm suppressed, and what if the necessity appears, you know? So in the case of the the moment when somebody touches your family or something, you know, you, the man, you know, you, we have the trigger, the instinct. The beast is here and the action is automatic. There, there, is, no, there is no question there, but uh, premeditated, premeditated, you know, like when you prepare the stuff, when the stuff is delayed in time, uh, this is where I felt maybe there is some... Uh, some, uh, you know, some deep uh, suppression of stuff. Okay, so I even... Uh, yeah, use some movies, some scenes of movies which I like, you know, like, uh, yeah, like, uh, yeah, maybe it needs part two, this, uh, this, uh, this last day's video, maybe it needs part two, okay, see you in the next one.